time for my fucking favorites. So the first thing I've been liking last month and this spring has been this NYX CC Cream. It's the green one and so that cancels out any redness. I have rosacea, self-proclaimed, self-diagnosed rosacea. And it's been getting a lot better because I've been whoa, taking care of my skin more. I usually don't wear any foundation throughout the day, like when I go to work, because I ain't got time for that. But I wear this and some concealer and I'm pretty good to go. I mean, it's not really that noticeable that I'm a walking tomato, so that's always nice. Another favorite of mine, which has been a favorite for a long time, is this Kate uh, Moss Rimmel Lipstick in 111 Kiss of Life. It's an old diva goodie, but also I just rediscovered it again, and I wear it with this Exaggerate Full Lip Liner from Rimmel as well in Red Diva. People always give me like a bunch of compliments on it. I just changed my profile picture recently, and people were going crazy about this lipstick. Plus my name's on it, so I mean, yeah. Another thing I've been liking a lot recently is this Biore Charcoal Pore Minimizer Scrub. Made with charcoal, which is like a big thing now. Do I know why charcoal is good? I don't know, but if I do find out, I'll put some shit here. I just got it because my pores are huge on my nose. And it's real annoying, and I have like bumps, and I don't even know what they are because they're not blackheads, they're not whiteheads, they're not acne, it's just weird dirt. I don't even know. I like that when you use it, it cuts you off, so you can only use so much. And I don't even use that much, like that's the amount you're supposed to use, but um, I don't even use that much. I use like half. I feel like it does clean out my pores. My skin feels really nice and like it looks more smooth when I have makeup on. Next, I have my razor, which is in a beat up condition right now, so do not judge. And it's the Chic uh, Hydro Trim Style. I really like it because of the trimmer. Um, use this in your nether regions of your body. I like to keep things, you know. The razor on the other side is nice. I used to use disposable ones. I don't know why. And I switched to this and I was like, oh yeah, this is what razors are supposed to be like, not like knives cutting at your skin. A nice note here is that I like to actually turn on the trim the trimmer when I shave my legs it really gets in there, it really like moves your hairs around so when you're shaving your legs uh, it just makes it a little bit easier especially because my hair on my legs kind of grows all over the place it does whatever it will so that really gets them all standing up straight so when I shave it's like a smoother shave so fun fact that's another reason why I like this and then the last beauty item I have are actually cotton rounds I'm one of those people who uses cotton balls for things like taking off my makeup and whatnot. If I only need one, it gets like more of the actual product on here so it's not just absorbed into the cotton ball. And I'm like, why? Why wasn't I using these before instead of like a whole gallon on one cotton ball because I can't get my freaking waterproof mascara off. For my fashion favorites, I have just a few things. The first thing I have are these shorts. These are from Charlotte Bruce. They're Refuge, which I feel like it's from like 1902 brand. Um, but <laughs> uh, they're high-waisted shorts and they're like the only ones that I've found that are actually high-waisted on me. Like I have such a long torso that finding anything that comes in actually at my waist, whether it be a top that comes into the waist, a dress that comes into the waist, high-waisted shorts, it's always off by like an inch and it's super annoying because I've recently come to terms that everything I wear needs to come in at the waist, otherwise it just looks like poop. I have searched high and low for high-waisted shorts for the past few years just because I like them anyway, even though people say that it makes you have a diaper butt. Who cares? I don't care. I'm wearing them anyway. So I got these pair and I like this one because they're like a grayish taupey color almost. So they got rose gold buttons. So I thought those were cute. And I got them in black with gold buttons, which I'm wearing right now. I wish they were a tad bit longer, but I mean, I'll take what I can get, really, in this world. The next fashion favorite I have is this blue dress, if I can figure out how to hold it up. It's gonna look kind of weird for me holding it, like it looks totally different on than it does just like a big ball of fabric right now. But I got this at the store Posh Love. Not sure if they have other locations, but they have one location in the Rosedale Mall, 
in Roseville, Minnesota. I always go in there because I love it so much because it's like a little boutique shop where they only have, most of the time, they only have like a few of each like item so you feel a little bit exclusive but it's not like a bajillion dollars. But I just love this fabric so much, like this pattern is so cute and I was like I need this just because of the pattern on the fabric. But it's just like a loose fitting, very like easy going, almost vacation wear. Um, and I just love it. And I would wear it every day if I could, but I can't because I work in a normal location. I feel like this would probably be a little bit too much skin for the office. And the last fashion item I have are these earrings. They were gifted to me by my boyfriend's mother. I love these. I think they're from um, The Loft, I want to say. If not, I'll put something here that says you're an idiot. Um, <laughs> but if not, then they're from The Loft. The marble trend is a thing right now, and I'm on the bandwagon about it. And they're very subtle. Like, it's a very subtle marble. Like, it just looks like white, pretty much. But there's little gray little flecks in it and I wear them all the time and I like that they're like sturdy also they're not like wibbly wobbly and then for my rando favorites the first thing I have are these cliff bars which oh my god guys they're so delicious <laughs> I have a problem like a personal problem with these cliff bars I was eating this and just fell in love they're so good guys they're so good they're like chocolatey peanut butter crunchy goodness the only thing is that they are messy as shit i eat these at work and i literally have to like go over the garbage like a total i like pull the garbage like i'm gonna puke and just eat the granola bar over it because it gets everywhere and i don't want to be like the crazy food lady who has food all over her desk because she ate a granola bar. And then some other things I've been liking that I don't have in front of me because it's not possible. I recently got Tidal, which if you guys don't know, it's like Jay-Z and somebody's music service. Um, they don't have everything, um, but they have a lot of stuff, like almost everything. So especially if you like rappers and like hip hop and stuff, go to Tidal. They got it all. Speaking of Tidal, I have two albums that I've been loving recently. One of them is Lemonade because I'm a basic bitch and I love Beyonce and who doesn't? If you ask me what my favorites are, I don't even know. Don't hurt yourself because I appreciate that Jack White's in it. I think that's totally random but totally works. And I like Freedom. That one's just good. It's good. It sounds like the Kill Bill soundtrack a little bit, the beginning of it. Like makes me want to like watch Kill Bill, so it makes me feel like intense, like yeah. Another favorite album of mine is Life of Pablo by Kanye. I'm not even a Kanye fan, I don't even really like Kanye at all, like as a person, but I was like, oh he's got a new album, I'll check it out, why not? It's so good guys, like it came out a little bit ago, but it's like so good. Um, if you like rap, if you don't like rap, if you don't even like Kanye, just check it out because it's good. And they're all just so good. All of them are good. Um, except for this one song, FML. I deleted that because there's a horrible sound in it at one point. It sounds like a cat puking in space. Another thing I've been listening to that's not music related is a uh, Ross Matthews podcast. A friend of mine at work, uh, he suggested it to me and it is so funny. If you like Ross Matthews, if you like any of those like Chelsea Lately type people, you'll really like it. It's super funny and I like have to contain my laughter when I'm sitting at my desk. He does interviews with like celebrities and things so if that interests you. So that's it for now. Subscribe to my channel. Bye! <laughs> roll up, roll up, hold up, hold up, pull up, pull up.